Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm making double chocolate muffins. That's right, chocolate chocolate chip. I'm giving you the perfect excuse to have chocolate for breakfast. So let's get started today on Dishing with Di. You need some unsweetened cocoa powder, granulated sugar, mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, and some baking soda. You also need some all-purpose flour, and I have some wet ingredients that I'm gonna go over with you after we take care of the dry. So, the first thing I wanna show you is how to measure your flour. Not that you don't know how to measure flour, but a lot of times when people make muffins or cupcakes or bread, they end up with um, a product that is too dry and they complain that it's the recipe. And sometimes it might just be the way you're measuring it. So for this recipe, the way I want you to measure it is first of all, when you get your flour, it's usually settled a bit. So you wanna loosen it up. And what I do is I just take a butter knife and I kind of run it in there and loosen everything up a bit. Then I pour the flour into the measuring cup like this. Okay, now, you know, other recipes, you're gonna do things in a different way. This is how we're doing it for this recipe. No right, no wrong, just this is the way we're doing it, okay? And then just level it off and then put that into your mixing bowl. So I'm gonna put all of my flour in here and just loosely, you don't wanna pack it in there, you don't wanna tap it down and you know, like settle it in there, you just want the amount that goes in and that's it, okay? So now, the unsweetened cocoa powder. I have a really good unsweetened cocoa powder and that's important to make these muffins taste really good. So dump that in there. The one thing I did do with that was I sifted it first. After I measured it, I sifted it because sometimes there's little lumps in there. Okay, so all this goes in. Salt, don't forget your salt. Everything tastes better with salt. Get that really well combined. And now I'm gonna add in my semi-sweet chips. So just dump those in there and I'm just gonna mix this through too. Okay, so that's good. And I'm just gonna make like a little well in the center here. You'll be able to make this in like 15 minutes, have it in and out of the oven, and before you know it, you'll be eating chocolate for breakfast. It's like it should be illegal or something, right? <laughs> Definitely feels like a sin. <laughs> okay, now, into my other smaller bowl, I'm gonna take my wet ingredients. So here, I have some buttermilk. This has sat at room temperature. If you don't have buttermilk, I have a buttermilk substitute recipe. You can use that, okay? So I'm gonna just dump this in, get it all in there. And all of the measurements and ingredients are on my website, just like with all of my re other recipes. So don't worry about that. Um, you know, the link for my website is below the video in the description area. So you can grab it there, or you can just go to my channel and it's on there. This is an, a lightly beaten egg, also at room temperature. Now here I have some canola oil. You can use just regular vegetable oil if you want, but don't use olive oil. Olive oil has a flavor, so you don't want that. So you want a flavorless oil. So now we have some vanilla extract. If you don't want to use vanilla extract, you could use a vanilla essence. Now, I have some water here and I have some decaffeinated coffee granules. I don't have a pot of coffee, so if you do, you can use coffee for this, but I'm gonna use instant mixed with water and I'm just gonna combine that right now. The water is at room temperature. It's not supposed to be hot water, but just make sure this dissolves in here well. Now, I'm gonna dump it into my mixture and that gives it you know, such a great flavor. You know how coffee and chocolate mixed together go so well? So just mix this up until it's really thoroughly incorporated. Just pour that straight in there. That coffee smells incredible. And wait till it mixes up with this. Just don't over mix. So you're just gonna mix this around until 
it all gets moist. Here I have a muffin tin that I've lined with cupcake liners. So now I'm going to take this ice cream scoop. If you don't have an ice cream scoop, a quarter cup measure is going to suit you just fine for this. So what you're going to do is just take a scoop of it and what I do is I kind of level it off and then usually there's something hanging around the side. Just kind of scrape that off and then go around and just fill them all up. When you're done, you're going to want to lick this ball. It's so good. Into my 375 degree oven, these are going to go for approximately 18 minutes in uh, on the center rack in the center of the oven and between 18 and 20. Now the only thing is you can't check this with a toothpick because if you stick a toothpick in, it's going to come out with chocolate all over it. So what you're going to have to do is when it gets close to the time, you know, that it's supposed to be done, you want to just touch the top of the muffin. Let me just show you with one that I already made. I made these earlier today. Okay, you're going to touch the top of the muffin and if it springs back up, then it's done. If you press the top of the muffin and it leaves an indent, it's not done yet. Don't push too hard though. You don't want your finger to go right through there. So 375 for about 18 minutes and then we're going to take a look at those. And here they are, absolutely delicious. And these are the ones that I made earlier today. The muffins that we just made are in the oven right now. They're gonna take 18 minutes, that's how long they take me. And then when they're done, I'm gonna put them on this cooling rack in the tin and that's gonna sit there for five minutes before I take them out and then you let them rest until they're completely cooled on your rack. And then you are left with this. This is just one big giant bite of deliciousness. These are like teeter-tottering between muffin and cupcake. It's like a muffin that wants to be a cupcake. It's so good. Okay. Mm. Mm. tender, moist, rich with the chocolate. And like I said, it's teeter tottering between muffin and cupcake. You are going to love these. You saw how fast that was. That was really quick. You can make these for a special breakfast for someone or yourself, or you could just have them for whatever reason you want to have them just so you can have some chocolate recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com. So go over there and subscribe and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like this video. I'll see you next time and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable and delicious. Bye-bye now.